Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Conglomerate 451, and the uh, the title of this one just brings to mind that, that book, Fahrenheit 451. Uh, obviously, the number, they have that in common. Um, but from what I could tell, I don't think they're all that similar? <laughs> really? I mean, you got this futuristic, you know, cyberpunk-style dungeon-crawling RPG game, which actually looks pretty cool. Uh, we're going to jump right into a new game here because I, I've pretty much seen the trailer of this game, but that's just about it. Uh, but before we start, we are going to turn the volume down just a tad here. We will get into it. So we have game modes to pick from. Uh, you got endless mode and story mode. Story mode, this game mode has a plot, subplots, and a story with a start and an end. You have 75 weeks to complete your mission, then the game will end. Select a difficulty. Normal mode is balanced. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's give that a shot here. We don't want to play endless because we want to see what the story for this game is all about. Year 2099, the city of conglomerate is at war. Sector 451 has become the central battlefield. Cor corrupted corporations control every criminal activity, making arrangements with gangs of outlaws. As an extreme measure, the city's government has assigned special powers to private agencies. That's never a good thing, is it? Making legal the use of battle clones. Oh, story about clones. You had to know it was coming. Future stuff always always brings up clone stuff, doesn't it? And you get to see the next part. Their mission, blah, blah, blah. But hey, let's jump in, shall we? Valhalla Agency Headquarters. <laughs> Very dramatic, Valhalla Agency. Everything is ready, Director. The operator will open radio contact with the squad as soon as you're ready. Alpha Team, can you hear me? I've analyzed the area, and I suggest you deploy at the edge of District 756. It's a lot of districts. The lab is located in the northern area, but it'll be well defended. Watch out. Remember the mission objective. Find the virus before it's synthesized and put on the black market as a bacteriological weapon. I'll stay in touch via radio. Good luck. Well, all right. They're throwing you right into the action here. Let's see what happens. You can upgrade the weapons, combat shield, and cyber deck of each agent. You can also boost their strength by giving them new cyber limbs. Again, cyber limbs, something that had to be expected, right? Wow, the uh, game is super loud. Love the DeLorean style car, that's pretty cool. Alright, we gotta bring this volume down even more. Is that good? Yeah, because just the, the, the ambient noise of this game is pretty loud, but that's okay. Headquarters. Did you receive the images? Director, can you hear me? If yes, select okay. Yeah. Good. The line has been established correctly. The squad is ready and waiting for your orders. I'll follow the agents closely to give them support. Okay. But enough talk. The game is on. The squad needs to stick together. Splitting up could be fatal. Here's a list of commands you can give them. So you can move with WASD keys, rotate with Q and E, look around by holding... Space or I think that's middle mouse button. Let's yeah, go and go. remember the main commands. I probably use space here. All right, well let's move forward. Rotate. Oh, yep, we got dudes already. We're engaged. All right, I'm gonna tick the volume down. Sorry guys, just a little bit more because it is. It's weird because like the now the ambient music is not too loud. I always have this struggle whenever we're <laughs> recording. I don't know why, but it's like sometimes the volume is like perfect, and other t other games it's been like all over the place. Uh, the city streets are dangerous. Gangs of criminals often try to stop agents, but don't worry. I'll explain how to deal with them. All right. Got some like synthesized metal industrial stuff going on here. When you get close to an enemy squad, combat begins. The timeline shows the action order. We, uh, each character will act based on their initiative. 
In the top middle of the screen, you can find useful tips. So select a skill with one, two, three, four, or an action with the right mouse button. During combat, you need to use your agent skills. Select a skill with one, two, three, four, select a target and press, uh, press your normal mouse button to shoot. Hold the skill button to see info about it. All right, so if we hold one, ah, I see, okay. So we've got accurate shot. We got blast. Oh, and they have tiers. So this is a tier five, tier five, tier. Okay, so these are all tier five. Okay, I don't know what, what exactly that means. So you, I guess from what you can tell up here, this is the turn order. So you can see that she is going first, Requi Requiem, the first character. All right, so whatever, let's shoot this guy. All right, so we did some fair damage there. But again, music very quiet, and that shot super loud. So I don't know. All right, uh, what do we got left here? We are playing with Mouse. Okay, so she can heal. Uh, Neuro Stimulator, it's a defense skill. Purification. Okay, so we don't need to worry about any of that stuff right now. We're gonna take this guy out. There we go. We vaporized him. Now we're playing with Edge. Stunning shot. Single shot. Conflagrant. Okay, let's do. Let's stun one of these guys. Oh, this guy's coming in for an attack. He really methodically walks in. I like the the overall setup of how this all works. Like it's. Actually, a, a bit different than normal dungeon crawling stuff. Like, you actually get to play, like, a turn-based, you know, uh, RPG-style fight. I think that's actually pretty cool. That dude's done. Shoot that guy. He almost did. There we go. Combat over. That was a great fight. But remember, never to underestimate your enemies. It could be fatal. It could be fatal. We do have a pickup of some sort. Do I have to click that? Yes, we do. You found an REM, resources module. A collection of resources dropped by the enemy you defeat. You can acquire interesting stuff by picking them up. Okay, that's cool. Now, I did see that there was... Oh, there's a dude here. Okay. I like the visual storytelling so far in this. I know we haven't gone far yet, but the, the city looks great. It's got a really cool look to it. You check the mission objective here. Remember to check it from time to time. It will change during the mission. Okay, so we've got to find the elevator. Oh, I see. So this opens up a bit. Okay. We'll twist that way again. The elevator, I presume. Please wait, approaching area. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna touch the sound again for the rest of this video. That's for sure. All right, we are now in some kind of crazy building here. This is the mission map. Press F M to open it. There. But it's just the map that you see in the bottom right, so nothing too amazing to see there. All right, so there's a big door. We've got to find a virus sample. Look at this big thing. Crazy. Yeah, so far I like the, the look and feel of this. This is actually pretty cool. And I like that you could, like, walk into these offices. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like a... Uh, you know, dungeon crawling Deus Ex style game, you know? Closed doors can be opened in various ways. Some require magnetic keys, and others need you to find and activate a terminal. In any case, all closed doors can be hacked. Select an agent to try this hacking port. Okay. Uh, so it looks like she has the best hacking, so I guess we'll go with that. To open the door, rotate the logic disk and match the shapes. You have to act quickly. The door has a time security system. When the timer goes off, you'll fail the hack. Okay. Uh, 
Um, oh, I see. Okay. Ah, okay. Makes a little bit more sense. It's a bit different, though. I, I think it's cool that they did like a little bit of a different door hacking mini game there. Not used to what I'm seeing. We are engaged with apparently a girl in a schoolgirl outfit and a gas mask. Might be seeing that more often now with the pandemic going on. Anyway, even enemies can be hacked. Everyone nowadays has one or more cyber implants that can be breached. Use the right mouse button to access special actions list. Try to hack the enemy system. Open the special action list. Ah, you gotta hold it. Okay, so you can do combat hacking. Let's see, what do we want to do? Oh, so this drains your battery. So you have a battery. And it drains. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to try to get her hacked. Okay, so you could just see what their stuff is. Alright. Hacking an enemy is a good strategy, but remember to check your agent's battery. It's precious resource. Okay. So every agent has a battery. Interesting. All right, so we're gonna abort that. Let's just go for a shot. Combat over, destroyed. So that gives you credits, tech, uh, lifeine, social security, social, this like a social security number, SN, no idea. Okay, we can't open that. I keep forgetting we're in the tutorial, so things are probably just gonna be like super uh, linear here. All right, so everyone gets plus 25 battery. I'm good with that. Door is protected by an advanced mechanism. I can open it, but it's going to take some time. In the meantime, try using the scanner to search the area for devices to extract SPU shared processor units from. Use left shift to scan. I'm working. There it is, device we can loot. Try extracting the SPU. What, this thing? <laughs> SPUs are versatile processors that you can install in your agent's equipment in order to get them bonuses and powers. Okay. You're extracting SPUs from a device in the right panel. You can find the SPU stats. So this is all pretty good. Plus 10 to your weapon. This is, I mean, there's no, nothing, nothing bad here. To extract an SPU, SPU, you need to cut the connectors, pushing enter on the SPU's panel with the right timing. Pay attention to the device temperature. If it reaches maximum, it'll melt. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm not doing great. Yeah, managed to get it. Okay. Great. So it's just like a matching thing. Once once that little wire reaches that, that box, you had to hit enter at the right time. Interesting. Great. You extracted the SPUs. When you, will, when you will come back to your headquarters, you will be able to install it. Okay, so you can't install it on the fly. All right, so we got it. We can close that. Uh, you did it. Bravo. While you were having fun, I opened the door. Don't everybody thank me at once. Oh, the wisecracking robot aid. Oh my god, this dude's got like dogs? Sensors have detected the presence of a bomb. I knew it, this mission is going to end badly. The bomb is active. We need to hurry. All right. That didn't do a whole lot, did it? Definitely doing damage to the dogs, but these dogs are going to light us up with their little turrets there. <laughs> I have a feeling it's one of those games that starts you off with a, uh, a death. That's what it would seem, wouldn't it? Let's try this death shot. Sorry, pup. Alright, that dog is done. Dog is almost dead. It's gonna be a waste of an attack next turn. 
Missed. Uh, let's see. All right, so now we just got him left. So how do I tell who's not doing so good with health? Is health like the red bar on the side here? Like, how do we how do we know? From what I can tell, it doesn't look like anybody's doing too bad. So this says a minus 20, but I don't see anything really happening with our characters. But whatever's supposed to happen is going to happen quick, I assume, here. We got the... Can we hack this guy? Yeah, our HP and shield are going down, but that's about it. So my guys are pretty powerful, it would seem. Oh, wow, base damage minus 70%. Let's try it. So I guess we're just going to kind of trade blows here until somebody dies. Shield's almost gone. So that's good. Got two seconds left on this bomb. Pretty sure they're just letting us have a little fun in the uh, combat scenario here. And then they're just going to blow the place up. Would be my guess. His health isn't even going down. It's going down very minimally. Resisted it. Oh, here we go. Combat over. Mission failed. Corporations attacked have gained influence. Well, that's not good. So everyone's dead. All my agents died in battle. But that was a tutorial. That was supposed to happen, right? I guess we'll find out. We'll find out shortly. Yep, the day after. We did get an achievement for that, and the story is continuing on. So, okay. That was supposed to happen. I knew it. What did I say? I said it before we even got through there. Ah, you finally arrived. Have a seat, please. So you completed the last training mission yesterday. You failed. Every agent was killed by the bomb. But you need to know that this mission was a test. It was impossible to beat. It's a classic Kabayashi Maru situation. The objective is not to beat the scenario, but to put you in a no-win situation and see how you react. And you did great. So starting oh, today, you'll be assigned to a new agency in Sector 451. Well done, Director. Very shiny. It's a very shiny guy. Welcome, Director, to your new agency. She's a very sessions. shiny lady. I'm Clarice, your office assistant. Nice to meet you. If you don't mind, we need to fill out a couple of documents before you take office. Okay. That seems fine. Great. Everything will be recorded and sent to the administration department. Now, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you into the agent's quarters. Here you will meet your current agent's squad. All right, let's do it. It's an awkward, awkward robot staring at me. This is the agent cloning center. I'm, uh, at least Delacroix. Wow, what a name. Uh, the chief of staff. Center is equipped with the most advanced technology in the cloning field. However, it would be great to expand our mutation database. You should learn more about mutations at the research center. Anyway, it's time to get down to brass tacks. Director, I'll help you create your first squad. Select clone new agent. You know, we're just going to do an auto mode here, I think. We're just going to let it do its thing. All right, so what should we be doing here? So I want to get back to the action. I want to see more of the game here. 
Person where your agents hang out between missions. You can inspect their weak and strong points, train them, or install cyber limbs on their bodies. And I'm assuming we can't do any of that stuff right now because, well, we got 10,000 credits, I wonder. So we, were, we had this guy here. Retire rank, inspect. Okay, so these are all his stats and everything. Okay. You can upgrade the weapons, combat shield, and cyber deck of each agent. You can also boost their strength by giving them new cyber limbs. Upgrade is locked. Upgrade is locked. Everything's locked. Okay. Um, I have a bunch of credits, but there's not really anything we can do with what we currently have, it seems like, so. Plumbing server did research health. Cyber graveyard just shows off who has died so far. Sort of like an XCOM thing, right? To show all the people you've lost already. This is your office. You will receive communications and news about your agency and its staff here. On the left, you can find a list of agency perks. That's a current status overview. The most common way to improve these values is by increasing your reputation. There might be other ways too, okay? I see, okay. So you get a percentage. Uh, I see, okay. You could, you could raise percentages on all these things that happen for you and it tells you your max. Okay, let's start a new mission here. Ah, you must be the new director. I'm Caleb Ice Wenham. The operator. This is the guy they showed at the very beginning of the game when it loaded up here. And she's Ego. I'll be your voice and your will during missions. Just give me your orders and I'll pass them along to the agents in the field. Okay. Ego, on the other hand, will be your eyes. She'll always be with the squad regarding uh, recording and broadcasting events to you in real time. I assume you're very busy, but before you go, give me a moment to tell you about the current situation. No worries. I'll be quick. All right, so Sector 451 of Conglomerate City is under the influence of four corporations. Your job is to free the sector by completing missions. This is the first area where we can operate. The Hive is a collection of apartments, corridors, walkways in the midst of semi-abandoned buildings. Once a residential area, uh, the Hive is now mainly inhabited by gangs of criminals and pariahs who cannot even pay a decent dwelling with the few credits they earn, okay? I'm just kind of checking out all the other stuff here. So there is an area progression. So you see, we we start in the hive, and then it goes to the ant hill, the sanctuary, the forge, the deep, and the spire. So it seems like there's quite a bit of game here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you're ready for your first mission director? Good, no worries. It'll be right. Just remember, play it safe. I think we're supposed to be, it'll be all right, maybe? I, I don't know. Play it safe, Glover City is a dangerous place. Good luck, director. All right, so we have our current team. Uh, we're going to leave it as is. So we get five reputation points if we do that. We'll get 10,000 more credits and 3,500 tech. All right, let's start this mission. So that's kind of cool. You do a mission. This very it has a very... It's like XCOM, but with, you know, the dungeon crawling aspect to it all. Oh, this is our cool car. That's what the uh, green dot is on the map there. Here's something over here. You don't have enough reputation to rent this software, so apparently you can rent software that'll help, like masks and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. I can click on that guy, but I see this blue emblem over here. I'm trying to click on it, but it doesn't look like it's something that can happen. Alright, let's move along. I like that back there. Just like faintly you can hear like music playing in the background. That's cool. Uh, I want to see what was at the end of this area here. Oh! Bad guys! Alright, so we're def definitely taking hits to our shields this time. I just casted Electrocute. That didn't <laughs> that didn't do anything. All right, uh, let's see. Let's do a blast. That didn't do a whole hell of a lot either. All right, how about this? All right, so that did some damage. All right, so I did electrocute before. That didn't do much. We've got improved weapon, 
Battlefield Medicine. Remove the radiation status, HP plus five. I don't think anyone's down on HP, we're just down on shield, I think, but. Uh, no, let's try the death mark. Let's see what that does. Missed. Okay, great. Gotta remember that the, they did the whole first mission trope where you're playing as a really powerful team who has like a lot of great abilities and then they're starting you back off at the beginning uh, with a team that doesn't have a whole lot, so. There we go. That did some good damage. Look at the smidge of health she got. Ugh. I hate when that happens. Alright, she's done. Let's see if we can cast Death Mark on this guy. Okay, that works for me. That's a pretty accurate shot, I must say. Missed! Wait a minute, how is she back? I gotta I gotta go after her again? See if this electrocute could work again. Alright, so she's shocked, whatever that means. So the enemies can just like keep coming back? What is up with that? Let's try casting electrocute on this guy, I guess. He resisted it. Oh, you gotta do like a finishing blow on them. Interesting. So she was down, you gotta hit him one more time. Miss. Guess we'll try electrocute again. This guy, Felipe, we gotta work on his stuff. Okay, that's the first time it actually connected with somebody. That actually worked. There we go, combat over. Pew, pew, pew. Take this pew, pew, pew. Pew indeed. Okay. Um, so if we look up here, we can see that there's more enemies coming up immediately. Uh, this thing looks like something we can interact with, but it's not. I set that little blip across because... I know before we sent that across and we, we actually found some stuff, which is cool. Okay, let's move this way. Alright, she's not a bad person. It's so dark in places, it's hard to see like what exactly is happening here. Okay, so this guy actually sells stuff that you can equip it looks like. That's kind of cool. A beacon, tiger. Alright, so these are things you're gonna equip your character with at some point. That's cool that that is all in there. City terminal. You can use it to buy services from hackers to get a tactical advantage for your mission. So if we go to basic systems, if we want to... Okay, so you can download the map. Download security data, unlock all doors. Okay, we're not going to do that for the first mission, but that's pretty cool that you can do that, too. Uh, I see some bad guys over there. And who is this? Okay. So it's another shop. Wow, there's a lot of shops in this game. Really wasn't expecting... So many shops. I don't see any bad dudes over here. But I think if I go that way, that's gonna... Will that connect to where we were before? No, it won't. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Can we move around? Yes, we can. Okay. So there's some bad guys over here. I know there's some bad guys here. Okay, that all connects to where those guys are at. I'm going to avoid those guys for now because I'm not sure that I really need to go after them. Because actually the uh, the combat in this takes a lot more time than I was really expecting. We're going to have to fight these guys too as we walk through. I wonder if we sneak up behind them on the other side if we actually get the drop on them because I think we fought those that first group. They actually got the drop on us because they were facing us. So let's try it out. I 
Oh, there is a thing here. What is this? I don't know what this is. Where are we going? A lot of bad people out in the rain, right? It's scary. All right, the high. Find the synthetic drugs. Oh, another recon mission. My poor scanner. Oh, I see. So that's what we got to use. We got to use the scanner to try to find the stuff. All right, so bad dudes ahead. No, well, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Jeez. A little too much attention. So the guy was shocked. Maybe the electrocute works better on the robots because they're machines. I'll try that in the next round here. Ooh. this guy. Eh, he's shocked, but I don't know what that means or what it actually does to him, unfortunately. Uh, whose turn? That guy. Alright, we're gonna check out some combat hacking here, see what we can do. Hack the enemy's core system, collect data, and that's it. Ugh. Nothing good. All right, we will take out take out the ads first here. It's really weird that the tutorial did not have you do you know a kill shot on the enemies, though in in the actual game that is sort of how you got to work it. Like you got it, you got to do the kill shot. All right, so this guy's got a battlefield medicine. Let's see. I see, so the shock damage is like a DOT. Okay, it's a dot, if we if you will. Let's shoot the weird dog robot thing. One more shot. Take that thing out. Okay, done and done. So my question is like, can you you can get your shield back, but it's like those battery things, and I remember walking by one of those things in the tutorial and opening it and getting uh, getting shield back, getting bat- oh no, it was battery, that's what it was, you get battery back. I wonder if there's a way to recharge your shield while you're fighting out here in the, you know, on the job. Alright, so he's shocked again, but big whoop. Oh, there we go. Knocked him down. Going for the kill. There you go. Combat over. The smell of lasers in the morning. Okay, that does open. Oh, there's something to hack in there. Yeah, let's try to hack it. Why not? Nope, other way. Got it. Here we are. Our target is somewhere around here. Oh, is it in here? Haha, -ha, found it. Mission complete. Do you want to go back to the agency? Um, yeah, I guess so. So we lose influence with those corporations attacked. All my guys survived. We get all of our rewards here, but we get plus 5% with the hive. Look at all this stuff. 
So obviously you can keep exploring and keep looking for stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh, and you get a rank progress for everybody too. Wow. So your rank progress is obviously going to be your, your upgrade, level twos, that kind of thing. This is kind of cool though. Becomes proficient in death shot and the skill is now mastered. That's sweet. So your characters are leveling up and they are, you know, gaining new abilities and that kind of stuff, which is cool. So the agency earns 11,451 credits, 3,600 tech and five reputation. It's a pleasure to meet you, director. Let me introduce myself known as the diplomat. I'm an agent of the government sent to conglomerate city to monitor and assist you. I will ask you from time to time to take care of certain nuance, nuance, uh, nuances, nuisances. I'm sure you'd be glad to help. Thank you for your time, director. Have a nice day. All right. Well, nice to see you. Um, but there we were there. So now I'm assuming we can go to our quarters here. So now we can actually upgrade characters if we want, right? Oh, customize. See, I should have done this before. You can actually give them different names and colors. That's pretty cool. I dig, I dig that. Give this guy like blue, I guess. I like the orange on him. All right. So we hit rank. Okay, so once he ranks up, then you can like unlock this stuff. So it says here, like once you hit private, then you can do these things. Okay, that's cool. But everything is still locked for his weapon. Oh, and here's where you can drag new stuff in. There we go. I put a geode, that geode on him. And that was offense. Hacking bonus for dying target. Blah, blah. Okay. So that's cool. So that's how you hack. Uh, that's how you upgrade and hack that stuff. Cool. Well, guys, uh, that's going to be Conglomerate 451 for today. Seems like a really cool like XCOM meets dungeon crawling type of game. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're into those types of uh, turn-based strategy games like XCOM, where you get to fiddle with your team in between every mission, uh, but you want, you ever wanted like, you know, the, uh, the whole dungeon crawling RPG experience mixed in with that. I mean, this is it. Like this is done a, from what I could tell so far, what we played a really good job of combining the two. And there's, it seems like there's so much to customize and upgrade too. So if you're really into that, you know, facet of, uh, of gaming and stuff. I feel like this is going to be something you're really going to enjoy. Uh, guys, want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Channels because we're coming out, we come out with cool Let's Plays like this all the time as long as other uh, fun gameplay videos. And of course, I have my own personal YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash watchggrc. And, you know, there I do all kinds of other types of gaming videos like reviews and that kind of, kind, uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, definitely subscribe to both channels. I think you'll enjoy both of them for sure. And of course, uh, chums, I'll see you all in the next Let's Play. See you then.